Hey, Lego friends, it's time for another brick haul from Bricklink. I've got two big packages uh, this week. Now let's just get into them and see what we've got. Um, I'm glad you guys like these because uh, they're kind of fun. So this one is from Papa's Bricks. Oh, it's very well packaged. Look at, ooh, ASMR. Maybe not. <laughs> um, very well packaged. I already see some fun things in it. Okay, so let's see. We'll go for these first. On this side, got a lot of black. Um, okay, so right off the bat, these little dice things, um, I have used them to make a, a four-sided sign, and I'll show you. I'll show you that right now. I made it from my police station. And I've done um, uh, clocks out of it, I think. Or maybe I changed that. But anyway, um, I wanted to make some more. These are really cool. And I found them cheap. Let's see. These, I want to see if I can install these underneath my chocolate shop to make, um, to make my display window spin. We'll see if I can do that. And then I found a bunch of these, which are um, tree parts. I'm working on making some scraggly trees for uh, Halloween. So those uh, those are tree parts. They're the Technic um, bins, but you can fill that hole and make a little knot. Uh, you can stick a branch out of it or one of the horn pieces to make like an offshoot limb. But you use these in conjunction with angled pieces to make a craggy tree. So those are there. And then also, um, these two by two octagonal ones, I've got several of just the, the, the barrel piece, the octagonal, like, I think it's three tall, maybe, yeah, three tall. Um, anyway, I want to use those in conjunction with those. And I think these might be the big trees in my, um, in my city park that I want to change to be Halloween trees. So that's also for Halloween trees, a couple black doorways, basic, basic, um, and then here's a couple of these one by one by one by twos with the studs on the side. So useful. I love those for doing side mounted builds, especially with these windows. Uh, you can throw them like that and mount the mounted door sideways as a window. That's good. And then these, I use these in my police station as a handrail. But then the other night I thought, what if I put them around the edge of a building? I think that could look really good as like the top rail of a building. You know, we have kind of few options for that, but I think that would be a, a nice option. It's a little bit decorative. It looks a little bit like a handrail. So um, found a few more of those for cheap and put those in my basket. Uh, these are for, uh, well, at least one of them is for Sanctum Sanctorum. I made mine with a white roof, but I'm replacing it with a black roof because the building's basically all white. Um, so that was one of the slope pieces you needed for that. But I also got the reverse. Uh, in case I want to do a reverse build of that building, however it fits on there. Um, anyway, those are there. Uh, these little pieces, I've used them before. Um, the uh, corner angle pieces, angled slopes. Um, I use these on the top of my uh, London style telephone boots. So that's a, a really great little piece right there. These little guys, the one by one, uh, half domed. I don't know how you explain that, how you say it. Um, anyway, a while back, I got a bunch of these on the pick a brick wall in white, uh, but no black. The black are really cool. Um, they're just a good little piece. Uh, it's good for adding a little detail onto a building or whatever. Anyway, that's a, that's a good piece. I'll show you what I did with all the white ones, uh, on my Venetian houses. It looks so good. I outlined the whole roof in the white ones. And then we've got, oh yes, oh, there's another tree piece and another slope piece. Um, these one by two slope pieces, but reversed upside down. So they plunk underneath and I'm going to show you what that's for. It's actually, um, a piece for the vacuum cleaner from the Hocus Pocus set. I love the vacuum cleaner. It's so cute. Um, anyway, so I'm going to make a few of those, uh, for my set and I, 
only had a couple of these for my city. So I made, I got a couple of these for um, myself. And then I love these window grills. Uh, they're just so good <clears throat> to make a little decorative oh, window. Well, I cannot hold on to the little tiny thing um, to make a decorative window. Really good. Um, I'm not really low on those, but they were a good price. So I grabbed them. And then one of the arched ones, I'm actually very low on these. I think I have two left. So um, these are always good to, to have around. Okay, so all the black pieces. So sort of a restock, but a couple of things that I'm gonna use right away. And then here we go. Um, obviously I'm on a fountain and water kick right now, but these guys, um, these weird clear eggs. I thought these could be fun for Easter, like make some kind of Easter display, maybe put a bunny or another, like a flower inside or another egg in a, like a flower display. Uh, I just thought that could be cool. Like, um, I don't do anything with space. That's obviously a space, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, what do you call those things? <laughs> Not a windscreen, um, but whatever it is, the a hatch, like a, a, yeah, the hatch. Um, anyway, so I thought a couple of green eggs could be cool for Easter. And then, uh, you know, my favorite, um, the cheese slope in Translate Blue. I did, um, well, I worked on a fountain, but it already had the cheese slopes in it. But uh, the fountain is by the canal, which is what I'm doing next. I'm going to change all the water to Griebold water with cheese slope so it has that sparkly look to it and then are these yes so these are helpful with water I'm just i got a few of them it's a one by one uh um translite blue with a hole in the center which is great for when you're doing water and you want to have something on the surface of the water <clears throat> maybe with a pin like the that's a green bubble but have blue bubbles as well um that or like maybe it's a reed or something like that uh when you need the the hole in it so i've got a few of those i try to get those they're so so useful so i've got several of those that's good in this order and then oh well, so the green these green guys <clears throat> they call this the bulb brick um it's uh, attached by a pin but it's as wide as a stud um I use them as bubbles in my water. So uh, when I redo all my fountains for Halloween with all these pieces in green water, I can add bubbles with these little light pieces. And so, yes, these pieces are for uh, fountains. And then this one is also a fountain. Is this a green one? Yes, green. So fountain, 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 good times. Oh, and there's a couple of dark blue bubbles or the bulb pieces. So those are really, I use these more for like on police cars uh, or um, the top of the police building. I have them. And so then we've got some little flames, little orange flames for candles. These are good. Let's see if I can get them all up. Yeah, so little orange flames. Uh, I have a million candles for Christmas. I have all the people around the tree and I have the candles on the tree and I put candles in windows. So those are really good. And then <laughs> also because the trans uh, light green is not super available, it's really hard to find some of these uh, energy pieces, energy blast pieces. Um, I've been collecting up orange in case I do my fountains in orange. Actually, I think the orange is pretty cool too. Um, but these make a nice like splash over the top and um, at the very tippy top of a fountain. These are always good. And then these little fist blast pieces um, make really good water pouring out of a um, spigot or whatever, like a little side thing just flowing down. I love these as water. And they do come in translite blue, which is what I normally use them in. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, so there's the translite blue, which uh, I just did a video yesterday on the fountain, changing the fountain to, to uh, darker blue. Um, and you can see these all around the base of that fountain. And here's more of those little 
things. And then these guys, I've never used them, but then Brick and Panda had one on his fountain. It's the gym piece, but it's not, it's got a stud in the middle. It doesn't have the, the fifth gym piece. So they can stack up um, like so, or you can actually put a, um, a fountain piece. This isn't what I'm talking about, but you can poke a, um, an energy piece in there or a flame piece to create a, a splashier water. Um, these are good. Nice to see them if they're, if they're landing in the water to have a splash. I could even put a coin on top of that and have it splashing into the, into the fountain. So that's a, that's a fun thing to do. Um, oh, some bicycle tires. I've got some bikes coming. They might be in this, um, in this hall. Uh, and a little stained glass. Can you, can you see the stained glass? Um, cupcake window. I have one of these in my donut shop already. Uh, even though it's a cupcake donut shop, it's a sweet shop. Um, but I wanted to put another one down the wall uh, just in case uh, I could. So I had it on my list and I finally found one for um, kind of cheap. So um, there's that. Now... Um, I feel like maybe I should dump that into a basket. And now let's see what's in bag number two. Oh, exciting. Look at all this stuff. Oh my gosh, craziness. Uh, okay, some gold cheese slopes, uh, probably used in my chocolate factory, but also maybe in the bank, like to throw some extra shiny gold in there. I want to rebuild my bank very soon. So um, I like to grab gold pieces when I see them. Uh, here's some minifigures. We'll get those out of the way. Here's a little minifigure in a green vest or a green shirt with a tie-dye on it. Uh, very cute for spring with a little bit of pink in there. And then I think there's two of these, yes. Uh, red tee on a green shirt. Uh, kind of fun. Just didn't have one. Throw somebody in different clothing. Um, and then blue and purple, but the purple shirt has a star on it because I'm J-Star. Um, not that I would ever wear blue and purple because I only wear black. Um, but it's cool to have for my city. And here's a little handbag that uh, could go with that. Okay. Oh, and then here's a um, little pink one with, uh, what do you call that? Um, not spaghetti straps, but uh, whatever that is can't find my words. Oh, here's a bike. So there's one bike that needs wheels. That will be for um, for autumn. I change all my bikes to the yellow and light orange. So that's cool. And let's go through here. Okay, that's white. So, oh gosh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a white door. I think there was supposed to be a couple of those. Maybe not. Anyway, a uh, white door. This one has a bathroom sticker on it, but uh, I'll probably peel that off. It's just hard to find solid doors and I need them all the time. So there's that. And then um, more tree pieces, but in white. These are those Technic pieces, but then also it's got the angled one. I think this is the um, 135 angle, but you can hook them together like so and make your tree angle off, uh, you know, make them make them fun, craggy trees. But I got the white ones too, just because I like kind of um, birch looking trees. <clears throat> so, uh, Got a lot of white ones and okay we're back uh so then in this bag this little um five petal flowers with the pin in pink and the light orange color those are uh good to make those layered flowers like um the lotuses with the little piece on them that's good oh, and these hockey sticks these are the handles i think i got three there's three um these are the handles for the uh, vacuum cleaner. So what was it? Oh, we got the revert, the inverted slope. Anyway, uh, perfect little vacuum cleaner handles. Love those. And then I got a bunch of white one or two by two tiles because I've used them all up making cobblestone streets. So I needed more of these. I always need two by two uh, tiles in white and black because <clears throat> I love to tile things. And there's that one little white one and some little quarter tiles. Those are uh, also some of my favorites to use. So put those in. Oh, there's another 
tank top tank top that's the word i was looking for earlier pink tank top for valentine's day and we have a um green skateboard nice i have a few green skateboards um for spring so uh all my skateboard kids in my city can wear that and is this another tie-dye kid yes yeah, another tie-dye oh actually and then i got this little juice box i love that little these little juice boxes perfect for the grocery store but also look how funny it looks like it matches okay um is that just one juice box? Okay, a few little green greebles for grass. Just a few of those. And a few of the small branch pieces. I think they actually call these leaves, but I call them branches because then you can put the leaves on them. So that's good. And then I got all these little purple things. <clears throat> I actually... Um, put the brush on my uh wish list for the um for the pet shop uh for the uh grooming station that I put in the back but then I found a little blow dryer how cute so I'll have a blow dryer and a grooming brush for the pet shop actually there's two brushes so maybe one will be for sale in the in the pet shop um oh another green thing uh but then I saw the purple ones so they have a purple um uh, hair dryer and then purple brushes, which I'm going to put in the salon, the Queer Eye for the Straight Guy loft, which I put that set inside the police station set and made the donut shop there. Is it Jonathan's salon? So I have the salon, but it's all purple accents. So this is perfect. And then there was this little award piece in purple. So maybe he got an award for doing great hair. So it's all purple. So it matches the interior. Here's another purse. Oh, here's a blue and a blue hoodie with a green inside. Just another um, torso I didn't have. I love building little minifigures. And then, oh, is this a juice, the lime thing? So that's nice to go with the um, juice box. Maybe have, I think I have some lemons and some oranges of this, and I can do like a juice um, cart. Okay, and then I've got, is that just one clear head? Always good for making lamps, lampposts. And then these little roof pieces, um, I have been using them as books. Um, it's totally illegal, totally, totally illegal, but you squeeze the arms like so, and then they can hold the little book, okay? Um, but I also wanted a bunch more for carolers at... Uh, Christmas and the holidays. So I'm dressing them all up in red and green, putting red scarves on them all, and then um, letting them hold the little books like they're, they're going caroling. So um, caroling books. But yeah, that <laughs> uh, it is illegal because it causes stress on the, the hands, but I don't care about illegal. Um, there's another of those um, birch tree pieces. And let's see what else. I'm trying to drink out everything that's not a flag because we know what the flags are for. Um, uh, the ballet miniskirt, or ballet, the tutu. Um, I'm actually going to try to work this into a maid costume for Yvette the Maid from my Clue minifigure series. I did all the, the figures, Mrs. Um, White, Miss Scarlet, um, Mrs. Peacock, etc. But um, I didn't do Yvette the Maid, which I think could be fun to have her and I'm going to do little eight by eight habitats for each of them. So the rooms of the clue board and, um, the weapon and then a character in each one. So look for that to come. And last thing that's not a flag are these two little octopuses and, um, they're so cute. Um, I love octopuses. Uh, my favorite number is eight. So the fact that they have eight arms is kind of cool, <clears throat> but also they're just so smart and amazing. So, uh, octopuses, have those and then the rest is flags and <clears throat> you've seen my city you know I have flags everywhere I just get two gold ones I guess so um, I don't have so many gold ones but I love them to, to put them around they're uh, always nice any time of the year with the black and white but then uh, if you saw my recent um, video on 4th of July or patriotic decorating I decided to hang red and red and blue flags from all my lampposts. And so I used as many as I had. I didn't have that many 
um, blue ones, but here are a ton of blue flags. So now I can finish all the lampposts down Main Street. Uh, that will be very cool to have that. Um, and I actually added um, lampposts on Main Street so there'd be more of them. So I can um, finish the, the blue ones, blue and red. And then I also didn't have enough uh, red, so I got more red. I love how cheap flags are because they're such a good thing and they make such a difference in a city, just hanging them off the front of buildings. Um, and I double them up on both of, most of my cities. Right now I've got red, white, and blue flags hanging on most poles. Um, but normally like on the Lego city, I have like red and yellow flags flying. Um, uh, they're just great. And on top of uh, every building, every cupola I have, I have those. So I got a ton of red. How many did I get? I got way too many. But my um, one thing I like to do is I build these little add-ons for the um, lamp posts. But then instead of taking them apart and rebuilding it for Christmas, I put the whole thing uh, in my little storage bin for the holiday. And then I pull out a whole built one for Christmas or a whole built one for um, Thanksgiving, Halloween, etc. So I did a bunch uh, of red ones for Christmas, I think. Did I? I don't remember. Um, I know I did pink for Valentine's Day, but I only had like eight lampposts at the time. And now I think I have 12 going down Main Street on the, on the walk. So um, now I have enough uh, flags to finish those out. Um, oh, there's one little red butterfly. Very cute. And two flames, two blue feather flames. Um, I'll probably put that on a, like a tricorn hat and somebody being patriotic. Uh, I was thinking about building a little like 4th of July parade, but I haven't gotten that done yet. We'll see if I do or not. Um, one more two by two. Uh, white tile and then a bunch of yellow ones for um thanksgiving and halloween so that will be really cool that's the that's what drew me to this this store um pop of the bricks was the uh flags because they had such a lot of them for cheap and then i found all the other little fun things so uh that may be the end of this video but i'm going to show you all the pieces so okay that was a fun haul here are all my flag decorations for each season. I've got red, white, and blue for the summer, red and green for the Christmas holidays with the wreaths and poinsettias, and then pink for Valentine's Day with the hearts. And for autumn slash October, I've got the yellow and orange. And I'm thinking for Halloween of changing the globes to be pumpkins. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. From Belleville, this is Jstar saying have a great day and keep creating.